I'm Emma. And I'm Charlie. We're two best friends from the UK, road tripping in the USA. Hotels.com is sending us across four American states in only three days. Since New England is perfect for road trips and gloriously jam-packed with touristy stuff. And we're doing it all on one tank of pure American gasoline, just to prove you can. Hotels.comedy presents Driving Out Loud One Tank Road Trip. Buckle up, America. Literally, because we're not that great at driving. A new day for New Hampshire. Oh, hello, Betsy. Ready for it? Oh, okay, let's do it. Let's go. Bye, beautiful Wentworth. Bye, Bye the sea. You were a bay. The, the biggest, biggest hotel, hotel I've ever stayed in. Absolutely. Look at this. I know. Did you hear that actually the full finish thing you call it leaf peeping? When you come out to look, it's Ooh, quite a fancy world, isn't it? It is. Like, you shouldn't it. really be doing it, but you can't resist. Tom was lying about all the leaf peeping he'd been doing. <laughs> I got him peeping leaves. I said, Tom, you gotta stop. He said, I can't. I can't stop peeping them. I, I said, it's I near the leaves. And he said, I'm gonna keep peeping. And now on to more peeping. We are taking a trip to the Strawberry Bank Museum. Okay. It's as authentic and a colonial American experience as one can hope to find. Okay, great. Look at this, look at this place. What is it, like a carpentry work? It looks a little spooky. The old wood shop. This is really cool. Wow, I love the smell in here. I know, me too. I've got to go and do my butter churning. And I'm going to have a nice beer and then peep some leaves. I can't wait for the future when women's rights are slightly more improved. This would have been quite a pretty place to live, actually. Look these trees. Martha, it's our third anniversary. I'd like to take you leaf peeping. Tom, you told me who I can go leaf peeping anymore. I can't help it. I'd like to open up our marriage to some leaves. These are gorgeous, though, aren't they? Yeah, they are nice. Our last colonial leaf peep. Are you ready? Yeah. Three, two, one, peep. Oh my god, yeah. Really good. Really I peeped good. it. Really good. Woo. Oh, I'm peeped out. Yeah, I'm peeped I'm peeped. I am peeped. <laughs> so I'm nice, so we've got a third of the tank of gas there. Okay. Can I for that? No, no, we've got to do it. Oh, oh, right. Okay, that is on you. Alright, open road. Yeah. How are you feeling about going on the boat? Oh my gosh, I can't wait. We're going out on a lobster boat to yeah. catch lobsters. I'm so excited. I'm, I'm so, so genuinely properly excited. Oh, wow. Welcome. Hi. I'm Charlie. Charlie, my name is Caitlin. Emma, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Welcome aboard. Yeah. Ready for lobster? So ready. Yeah, I'm ready. Let's do it. Let's do it. Cryptozoology Museum. What is cryptozoology? Cryptozoology is the study of kind of out there creatures that aren't confirmed real but worth studying. But worth having a museum to just double check. Oh my god, yes! I'm not swear, this is wild. <laughs> Literally. Oh, Charlie, I think this is a poo cabinet. No fooling. 
Okay, that's a domestic cat. But that's a Bigfoot one. Do you see the difference? <laughs> he eats. <gasps> I know I can't hug him, but I'm just going to imagine I'm hugging him. The whole thing is, you don't, don't know, if, know it's if it's real or not. When you set up a huge poo. Yeah, that's hard to say. It's much more fun to think that this guy is walking around somewhere. I don't eat. Oh, I don't not think, think that he's around. around. This is the thing. You, the sceptic, are going to be the one that sees it and then you'll believe it. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, but I think that is maybe a reason you don't do that. 